All right, everyone, Walden here, and welcome back to my channel, Walk with Walden, where you can follow me on my AT through hike this year. So today I'm going to talk about clothes, clothes, tiny little bit of gear and electronics. So let's get this started. All right, we'll start first. Socks, darn toughs, darn tough Vermont, merino wool socks, love them, best sock on the market, definitely one of the more favored socks uh, on the Appalachian Trail for sure. Definitely a go-to. Unconditional. Guarantee. And again, non-sponsored. I am not sponsored. Darn Tough does not give me anything free. Um, but I do love their socks. So uh, I actually do. I'm one of the few hikers. I actually carry one pair of Smart Wool. Again, non-sponsored Smart Wool PhD ankle socks. Use them for sleeping in. And they can be an emergency sock when these socks are just just too wet so there you go on that so shoes my shoes i wear ultra lone peaks again non-sponsored ultra doesn't give me anything these are uh the 4.0s which are an older model but um i bought extra shoes for last year when i started my through hike these ones are still brand new probably be starting my hike in these 4.0s and then i've also tested the 4.5s which of course, if um, you hikers know, they've already moved to the 5.0. I have a couple pairs of these ready to go and a couple pairs of 4.0s left over. Should take me around five pairs of shoes, I'm guessing. Um, nice, super lightweight shoe. Um, not the most durable shoe, but what you give up in durability, you gain in some comfort and lightweight. So you might have to buy an extra pair of shoes, but at least you don't have planner's versitis. So there you go. Ultra Lone Peaks for my uh, camp shoes or water crossing shoes or shower shoes. I carry the Zero Z Trails, super simple sandal. And uh, I actually will hike in these very, a little bit. I actually prefer to sandal hike, but just not on the Appalachian Trail. It's got a lot of rocks. I'll break a toe. I know I'd break a toe. So, But these are my camp shoes. So again, non-sponsored, Zero z trails so all right shorts and pants again non i'm not sponsored by eddie bauer wish i was but uh, i wear the eddie bauer ascent line guide pro shorts and the pants both now i made this switch from last year i wasn't wearing these i needed to find a pant that um didn't catch on the knee so you, you want a little bit of stretchiness these pants, no problem. Love them. Absolutely love the shorts and the pants. Um, eventually, of course, I'll send the pants home. Probably switch to, I'll carry two pairs of shorts with me uh, when I probably get to like Virginia once it gets a little warmer. So then uh, shirts. Again, I'm non-sponsored. These are smart wool, merino wool blend shirts. But I am partially sponsored by Trail Goods, who had rosewood gear. Went ahead and print these designs by Mr. JB Membrane Selby of Trail Goods. He uh, was nice enough to uh, have these done for me custom. I have this one. And we actually have two of his patterns. So if you want to check out uh, Mr. Selby's artwork, you can go to Trail Goods and check out some of his uh, cool designs there. And I don't have to look the same my whole entire trip. So same color, different print. So thank you very much, Trail Goods. So uh, underlayments. Uh, I have a, my cold weather sleeping outfit. Darn, or uh, again, non-sponsored. Duluth. Duluth Trading Company. The Buck Naked line. Super lightweight. These are my uh, sleeping, my sleeping underlayment. My sleeping underlayment shirt. Again, for cold weather, once it gets warm. I'll switch to the same thing, but just in a short sleeve shirt and short uh, shorts. Same same thing, but in shorts. So my cold weather underlayment, I have a, actually it's quite old. Again, non-sponsored. This is an old Under Armour Polar Tech. Tops and bottoms. Super warm, synthetic. I've had this thing for years. I use it for ice fishing. Keeps me warm. Just fine. So now again, uh, hat. I'd like to thank, this was gifted to me from the wonderful folks at Mountain Blaze Arts. Nice handmade hat. So this is my 
cold weather hat. I actually love this hat. Thank you very much at Mountain Blaze Arts. Great job. And it actually matches my shirt. So thank you there. And also from Mountain Blaze Arts, thanks very much again. They gave me this wonderful utensil pouch. And uh, they actually solved a huge problem for me because I do carry, I do carve. I'm a wood carver. So I like to carry my whittling knife and usually one other tool. And plus my utensil, which is what this is for. And uh, it actually fits all three of them perfect. It actually solved a huge problem for me. So thank you, Mountain Blaze Arts. Wonderful handmade product there. Great stuff. Great people. So my one other shirt that I do carry, and again, I showed in my, in my gear videos, I do have the puffy coat. I have the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer 2, and uh, I like to wear, uh, it's a lightweight flannel, again, Eddie Bauer, just a regular Eddie Bauer flannel, and actually matches my Mountain Blaze hat. Way to go, Mountain Blaze. Nice color scheme there, so, so nice. So there's my layers, my shirts, uh, two outfits, basically, you want a hiking outfit, a sleeping outfit. Um, I do carry a little bit more. I'll carry two pairs of shorts when it gets warm. Um, so, all right, I want to talk a little bit about electronics. I am carrying a Garmin InReach Mini. So you'll see this hanging on my pack. Again, um, I really don't have a choice in this matter. Um, the people who love me insist on me carrying this. So this gives me the ability to send a text message, satellite, from wherever I'm at. But most of all, it has a rescue beacon. So, not even just for me, but God forbid I come across somebody else on the trail. So, a new addition here, uh, something I'm not used to, but gives peace of mind to everybody. So, there you go. I will be carrying the Garmin InReach Mini this year. And then I'll uh, show you my knife. This is the knife I carry. Again, simple, small, lightweight. This is a, again, non-sponsored Spyderco Dragonfly. Simple little knife. Um... Don't really need too much. Like I said, I do have my whittling knife if, as far as that goes. So this is basically for opening packages, cutting up sausages, slicing up my pepperoni. So one other thing with carrying electronics these days, and again, I'm shooting all of these videos I, on a Galaxy S10, and I'm using an MPOW iSnap selfie stick with a removable remote. Uh, pretty simple, small, lightweight. Um, this is my first real legitimate smartphone I've ever actually owned. Um, I'm completely not good with electronics at all. So this hiking trip, I'm actually learning about electronics as much as hiking. I do that, but electronics, not so much. So, but, so one new thing I do have to carry, which I don't like to carry, but is this, is the Anchor 20, 20,000 milliamp battery bank. So have to have a special plug for it to help it charge faster but this will keep my phone my selfie stick and everything going so this is something that i'm not used to carrying in the wild and this thing is heavy but um kind of goes with the new territory um kind of just goes with the way things are nowadays so there you go the anchor 20,000 milliamp battery bank and a cell phone and a selfie stick and all this gear and uh Hopefully that gets me all the way to Katahdin. So, all right, well, there you go. Um, that's what I'm wearing. Uh, trail videos will be up before too long and I'm getting ready to leave real soon. So we'll see you guys all on trail. All right, have a good one.